in the garage uh, so I don't wake the family up. Before work, getting a little practice done. Laundry's going in the room next door because I didn't get any done this weekend and I still need clothes to wear for work. Uh, hopefully that doesn't make too much noise. So this is not a performance video anyway, so the sound quality is not the real important thing. This is just something cool that I was uh, I learned. I was doing an exercise my instructor gave me, and I thought it was just an exercise to learn the circle of force. And then I realized, and I think he told me this, but it didn't didn't make sense to me at the time, that this is a way also to learn the fretboard and the the fretboard and the circle of force sort of reinforce each other. You can use one to help remember the other. Well, here's the exercise. I'm in open G tuning, but this exercise works in double C, drop C. It works in any tuning where the first string is um, D and the third string is G, which is an awful lot of our tunings. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to fret. The first string at the tenth fret and the third string at the tenth fret. Just two fingers, plop them down there, and then bottom string. That's a C. And we're going to start the circle of fourths at a C. Then you go up a fourth from C, you get an F, and that's the third string. So first string C, third string F. Then you slide two frets towards the nut. I say towards the nut because I never know whether that's up the fret or down the fret. It's physically up, but it's um, down in frequency, so I don't know what to call it. So two frets, and then you do those same two strings again. Now you get B flat, E flat, two more strings, A flat, D flat, F sharp, B, E, A, now open strings, D, G, and this is finally I have to, and then C. This last note changes depending on your tuning. If you're in a double C, then that'll be open. If you're in, I mean, that'll be uh, open, but if you're in uh, open G tuning, you have to fret it at the first fret to get that C. So, C, F. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, F sharp. Did I do that right? B. See me having to think about it? This is an exercise I have not mastered. I'm still in the process of learning this one. I'm going to just start that one over. C, F. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, F sharp, B, E, A, D, correction, E, G, C. So there's, there's kind of two ways to do this. The one is by thinking about the circle of force while I'm doing it. I'm imagining the circle. I'm, you know, here's a C. I know I go up. Here's just my fourth C, D, E, F. And then a fourth up from F is B flat. And I just kind of know it because I've done a lot of circle exercises. And that's the way I thought this was. I thought it was just imagining the circle of force in my head and naming the notes as I go down. Then I realized it's also... You can, you can sort of go backwards. If you know your fretboard a little bit, and you know where some of the chords are, you kind of go backwards. So for example, I know that that's an F. A bar at the 10th fret is an F. The root of a bar chord is that third string. So I could say, well, there's a C, and, I, and then I'm making an F, and if I were making a bar there, what would that be? Well, I know it's an F, because I've done, you know, that's kind of a common chord, make a bar there, it's an F. So you can kind of go backwards too. C, what is that? Oh, F, because I'd make a bar there. And that's, uh, let me see, uh, this would be a B, and the root of the B is on the, the first and fourth strings. There's my pinky on that fourth string. I'm actually down one from there. That makes a B flat. I don't know if that makes any sense at all to you, but it kind of does to me. And I thought that's really cool. So now when I'm doing this, I'm watching the fretboard and paying attention to, to what 
know what I'm actually playing, not just naming it from memory, but where am I on the fretboard, what string, what fret. And I think this will help me to, you know, memorize the fretboard better, that when I want to make a B, I will know right away where the heck B is without thinking hard about it. B is right there. So, I thought it was kind of cool. I don't know if it makes any sense the way I explained it. Probably not. Uh, my laundry's probably dry. Time to go to work. Bye.